Hey, this is Jamie with Stonemeyer Games, and today I'm going to talk about my favorite game mechanism in Trash Pandas. A little filler, push your luck filler game that I had a fair amount of fun with lately because I love push your luck games, also called press your luck games. Basically, in this game, you are trying to play through this deck of cards um, with other players, trying to get to the end of these cards, collecting. Uh, ideally the majority is of each type of card. So this is the Nanners card. If I have the most of these at the end of the game, I'll get seven points. If I have the second most, I'll get zero. Third most, I have also zero. And there are lots of different cards in here like that. There are also some cards that interact with other players. Some are a little mean, but not all that much. It's such a quick game that it's the type of game where I don't really mind take that in. Um, but my favorite mechanism and my favorite components in the game are related to the push your, push your luck or press your luck mechanism. Um, it's a very simple impl implementation of it, but I really love how they implement it. Basically on your turn, the main thing you're doing is rolling this die as much as you want until you bust or until you stop. So each die has a different face that tells you to do different things. Um, and so on your first roll, you are guaranteed to get something that is not duplicated because you haven't rolled the die yet. So I'll roll the die, say I get two trees. I then can decide if I want to stop and just gain that benefit and to show that I've already rolled that die, this is the other clever component in the game, there are tokens, six tokens in the game, that represent each of these things. So when I roll this die, I claim this token, put it right next to me, and leave it there um, until I decide to stop rolling. So then I can, I can choose to keep rolling or stop. If I roll again, say I get these, uh, these trash cans, then I get the trash can token to mark that I've done that. And so again, I can choose to stop or keep on or continue to roll. If I bust, Usually you just bust right away. So if I bust, I will just lose all my tokens and end my turn. So the busting means that I've rolled the same thing twice, either those trash cans or those trees. But often there are cards in the game that say, um, play this card right away to not bust, or play this card to keep rolling, or play this card to discard a token and keep rolling, things like that. So there are ways to, uh, to mitigate that bad luck of a, a push your luck roll. Um, and then after you finish rolling, if you haven't busted, you get to uh, activate all the different tokens and gain abilities from them and basically take a bunch of actions if you roll the die a lot um, or maybe a limited actions if you if you've only rolled it a few times I love how simple this is just roll the die until you want to stop and I love that the tokens help you track that information as to how many times uh, as to what actions that you've accumulated during the roll element um, it's completely random obviously there, there's always a one in six chance of, of busting although the chance goes up as you have more and more tokens. So if I have these tokens out there, now there's a, a one in three chance that I will roll uh, one of those again, another duplicate. But I just love how simple this implementation is. The game only needs one die, you just roll it on your turn and decide when you want to stop. I love push your luck. I love the idea that uh, on any given turn I can have a monster turn or I can have a very simple turn and I need to decide over the course of the game, depending on my position game, how well I think I'm doing, how much I need to push my luck or not. So it's a great catch-up mechanism. It's a great uh, decision point throughout the game, depending on how I'm doing. And it's just fun to roll the die and see how far I can get when I play. That's Trash Pandas. Uh, I know it's not uh, particularly, it's not super innovative compared to other uh, Push Your Luck games, but it, it's distilled. And I think a distilled game is still um, a, a, great, a great fun game to play. And I think there is innovation in distilling and streamlining. Um, and I think this game does that really well. So yeah, Trash Pandas. If you have a different favorite mechanism in Trash Pandas, I'd love to hear about it in the comments. Or if you have a push your luck mechanism that you love in another game, um, I'd love to hear about that in the comments as well. I'll also link my I'll, I'll link to my favorite push your luck games in the uh, description below. All right, thanks.